Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. Today I have prepared two very easy problems for you. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve both questions on your own first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is a true-false question. Mendel used garden pea plants in his experiments, and you have to choose whether it's true or false. And of course, uh, this is true. This is very easy question, so I hope everyone knows the answer. And second question, an organism that is true breeding for a trait is said to be, and here is the four answers to choose from. Answer A, a mono hybrid. Answer B, a dehybrid. Answer C, homozygous. And answer D, heterozygous. So let's consider each answer in turn. So what is a mono hybrid? Hybrid, as you know, this is when we mix something different. For example, uh, hybrid can be between apple and pear. So such fruit we would call a hybrid fruit. So usually we use a monohybrid cross in order to find whether uh, one or another allele is dominant. For example, if we have one parent who is going to be um, true breeding, that means uh, all the progeny would, uh, when we cross uh, this parent between other parents with the same trait, would also produce uh, all the progeny with the same trait. For example, white color in plants, in flowers for example, when we cross white flowers with white flowers, we would always get also white flowers in progeny. So imagine that we can cross such a plant whose genotype would be small a small a with another plant, for example, with red flowers. And we don't know whether red uh, color would be dominant over the white color. So we also use small letters a, but we would use a prime, a small prime and a small prime. And when we cross these two parents, once again one parent with white flowers and another parent with red flowers. And we don't know which one is dominant. We are going to get all the uh, progeny that is going to be heterozygous. So one allele would be A prime and another one just uh, A. And if the progeny would be uh, the same color as this parent, we may say that A prime would be dominant. So we can change it to the capital A, for example. So now we would know that uh, A prime would be dominant. So as you see, all the progeny would be heterozygous 100% would look phenotypically just like parent on the left and we call such uh, cross monohybrid cross in order to find which allele is dominant. But we do not stop here, we have to make another cross when we use this uh, progeny of F1 generation in order uh, to find uh, what we are going to get if we use uh, this generation as parental generation for the next generation. So we would have uh, capital A small a here and capital A small a here and next generation would be F2 generation and if we are going to get results that is going to be 3 to 1 3 to 1 and in our first case we had 100% of all the progeny that is going to be the same genotype. So here we would have in second dehybrid cross 3 to 1 ratio. So, uh, sorry, this is going to be red and this is going to be white. So 3 to 1 ratio. So we can say that uh, capital A allele or red color would be uh, dominant 
to white. So both parents here would be uh, would have flowers with red color. And what is a dehybrid cross? Answer B. Uh, when we cross uh, first parental generation that is going to be, for example, capital A, capital A, and capital B, capital B. So here we have two genes, and because organism is deployed, every um, gene would be represented as two uh, alleles. So, and genotype of the second parent would be small a, small a, and small b, small b. So, as a result of the first uh, cross, we are going to get uh, in F1 generation genotype that is going to be of all progeny that is going to be capital A, small a, capital B, small b. And we also have to cross it with itself. So with the same genotype. So what I am doing here is the same what I did here, but here I uh, built a Punnett square because I don't have much space left. I just use uh, this variant of notation. But uh, here, of course, uh, we are going to get a bigger square. Uh, it's going to be 4 by 4, so with 16 uh, cells. And here in F1 generation, as you see, we also had 100% uh, of the progeny to be of the same genotype that is going to be uh, heterozygous for both um, locus and uh, for both loci. And uh, when we cross and uh, when we get F2 generation the ratio going to be 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 so as you see here we have ratio 3 to 1 in and in the hybrid cross we have ratio 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 once again uh, here in mono hybrid cross we started with one locus one trade and here we started with two loci and two traits this can be for example color and shape or other traits so uh, i already explained what is a monohybrid what is a dehybrid so answer c homozygous what is a homozygous imagine that we have one locus with two variants of the same gene that we call alleles, one would be dominant, another recessive, so we can say capital A and small a, and these two alleles in diploid organism can produce three uh, genotypes. One would be capital A, capital A, another capital A, small a, and the third variant would be small a, small a. So this two genotypes that is capital A, capital A and small a, small a we call homozygous and this one in the middle we call heterozygous. So now we know what is a homozygous and what is a heterozygous. So now we are ready to answer our question an organism that is true breeding for a trait is said to be and the correct answer would be answer C. It's have to be homozygous. So it's uh, have to be with a homozygous dominant or it can be homozygous recessive. So when we cross, for example, homozygous dominant with homozygous dominant, all the progeny 100% also would be capital A, capital A. And when we cross homozygous recessive with homozygous recessive, 100% of such a cross also would be homozygous recessive genotype. So in our example, this is going to be 
uh, plant with red flowers and here all 100% of the progeny would be uh, plants with white flowers just like their parents and uh, here we also have parents who has uh, flowers of this red color and 100% of their progeny also would have uh, the same color and wouldn't segregate uh, if we for example would cross uh, genotypes that is going to be heterozygous just like uh, here in this example when we have two parents who is uh, both have uh, red flowers but when we cross them in uh, F2 generation uh, the progeny would segregate to uh, with ratios 3 to 1 red flowers 3 to white flowers that is ratio 1 so we would know that those these plants would be uh, red and would have dominant phenotype this is not the same as what we have here so these uh, genotypes would be true breeding and this genotype, those phenotype would be the same. Uh, this is not going to be a true breeding. True breeding only can be uh, those plants who is going to be homozygous for this trait. So the same alleles and the same locus. Whether it can be homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.